Hey everyone, since the last video, I've been working on a new art style and the ability to harvest crops. For those who don't know, I'm currently working on a game where you try to and build a fully automated farm from the ground up. Changing art styles was the first thing I worked on because I thought the game looks good, but a little too realistic compared to what I had originally envisioned. I really like the current art, but I feel like if or when the current artist decides to stop working on the game, the learning curve will be far too high for me to follow up. And another issue not really related to the art itself is communication, and that's because as a developer, I have the vision for what I want the art to look like, but telling the artist this is a little bit difficult for me since I can't always describe what exactly I want without having a flaw in communication here or somewhere else. I also wanted something very simple, easy to draw, and preferably something that didn't require me to spend 10 hours on an animation component. The previous art style would be the complete opposite of all these requirements, so when the artist that I was working with decided to ghost me for 15 days and counting, I thought I'd give this idea a go. I had a general idea in mind on how the sprite would look like, but it wasn't until I finished a grown up wheat sprite that I decided I was going to fully convert the game into this particular art style. I decided to also change the ground from a noise based sprite into a salt color so it doesn't look out of place when put it next to the wheat sprites. After changing the ground, I thought about how else I could improve the ground sprites since something about it looked a bit off, and I realized it was the edges between the grass and the soil tiles. Currently, it's a very rigid transition, or in other words, no transition. I was thinking a couple pieces of grass sticking out onto the soil so it looks a bit more realistic, so I got that drawn and implemented with a simple technique called bit masking. I don't want to go too deep into bit masking, but it's very easy to put together and a very easy way to make your sprites dynamically change. I'll add an article below that I found useful in the description below, so if you're interested, check that out. After the ground bit masking was done, I took a good look at the game and I felt a little bit weird about the shaded part in the middle of the wheat sprite. So I went back into A sprite to make the final change. And with that, the art changes should be done. There are a couple of issues I see, like the small gap, but I'll leave that to future me to fix. This art style is something I personally thought looked better, but comment down below what you think and what kind of changes I should make to improve it. Before I continue, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future devlogs because YouTube statistics show me that only around 2.4% of you watching are subscribed. So if you aren't part of that number, be sure to join in. It's also a simple way to show me that my efforts weren't completely useless and hey, it's completely free, so why not just give it a click? Anyway, with the art spell completely done, there was something that I felt missing and that was harvesting. Harvesting isn't a massively difficult feature, but it's a feature that I must add. Before I got started on harvesting though, I wanted to plan out how planting would actually work. And this is because the players won't be the ones planting or harvesting, instead it will be the employees of the farm. The current plan is to just have the counter going and have items be stored in a building like a warehouse. But until the warehouse and employee systems are built, I'll just have to use this counter up here which shows and keeps track of the wheat item count and the wheat seed count. It took me just around 20 minutes to get this whole system set up, and here's how the feature looks. As you can see, it simply removes the crop from the tile and it just adds a couple of seeds to the seed counter and increments the wheat counter by one. I won't be restricting wheat planting based on this counter since this is just for testing purposes, but in the next devlog, I'll probably work on something related to the employee system, so I'll be working on these counters next. Making the harvesting system made me realize that the selective visibility is non-existent when the crop itself exceeds the grid height, and just rendering the selector over the crops looks weird, so if you have any ideas on fixing this visibility issue, definitely let me know in the comments. Besides these two things, I've also worked on a translation system, file importing, and a UI backend, but for the sake of an interesting video, I decided to cut it from the script. If any of you guys are interested in how it, those C features work, I'll be happy to answer you through Discord or through Twitter, so be sure to join this Discord server and follow me on Twitter to do so. In the next devlog, I'll be looking to get started on an employee system who can be hired, fired, and put to work, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss that video. Other than that, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.